Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today is Wednesday and basically I have work this morning, two classes, and then I am driving back by my home. I might actually stop by my house if I have time. I'm starting Accutane. Well, I'm going to the dermatologist at least. On Monday, I had to get my blood drawn for the first time ever. I was so nervous and you can't eat 12 hours before. So also I get hangry super easily and I was so hungry. I hadn't eaten in like 14 hours at that point. I waited for like 25 minutes and then I finally got in and I told her I was like, yeah, it's my first time getting blood drawn and she was like, um, oh my gosh, don't you pass out on me? And I was like, well, I wasn't going to, but now I'm a little nervous. Like I didn't say that, but I was just like, okay. Um, I just like didn't look and it hurt a little, but it wasn't like horrible. The lighting, you can see every baby hair on my head right now. Okay, so I start every morning with a ginger shot. I make them ahead of time at home and I just have them in like little water bottles. Um, I have, I think I've talked about them before, but basically it's just a lot of ginger, apple, carrot, um, what else is in it? Lemon. I sometimes add turmeric, but I didn't this time. Um, and I don't have any like, spices or anything at school. But every day I start with one of these. Oh my god. They don't get easier. But I almost walked into this. I literally almost walked right into it. Um, they taste really good, but they're also just like so strong. But I like to make them strong so they kind of burn and you really know it's like good for you. And then I'm gonna have some toast. It's just the whole grain um, English muffins. I usually have Ezekiel bread, but I just kind of want to switch it up. And then I'm just gonna do peanut butter. I'm walking to work right now and it's 40 degrees and freezing. Like I'm wearing my long coat. It's so cold. <gasps> oh, honey! Hi! Surprise! Oh my gosh, Callie! <laughs> What happened? She has what? Mom, she has kennel cough. She's been up for a while. Oh. I feel so bad. You just had a whole coughing fit. Come here. Didn't she have to get medicine? I just got out of my appointment. I'm like using the bathroom before I drive back. They gave me like this big key. Well, it's like a little key in the big thing. Um, but it wasn't even locked, so I don't really know why they gave me that, but I need to return that. And then I'm gonna go drive home. So I kind of feel like I don't know. The appointment was kind of not pointless, but like I didn't do anything. I thought my lens had something. Um, she literally was in the room with me for like a minute and just kind of told me like, okay, so we're gonna set you up. We're gonna get your prescription. If you guys are familiar with like Accutane or if any of you have taken it or anything, um, let me know and <laughs> tell me like how it went for you and like tips and stuff. Cause I've definitely like been doing research, but I'd love to like know if any of you guys have taken it and what you guys thought, if it helped, things like that. Um, I'm definitely gonna get some really good moisturizers. So I'm gonna um, do some research on that some more. Cause the biggest things are skin drying out, which is weird cause I've always had like oily skin and I always moisturize, but I never get like some thick creams or anything um so yeah hopefully i start it this week well definitely this week but i really love listening to podcasts and i watched the good place the show and they said on their last episode that they have a podcast like behind the scenes stuff so i'm gonna listen to this i think on my drive back there's actually like more episodes oh my god there's so many back in june it started i guess i'll start from the beginning but i always feel weird when i go back in podcasts i always want to listen to like the newest one but i feel like it is better to listen to the beginning so i'm gonna maybe listen to the trailer first okay so i have my table and it's so awkward and heavy um i think i'm gonna put it just right where the other one was right here we'll see how it looks i kind of wish i had like a tablecloth or something but i'm gonna set it up now okay 
Looks amazing. <laughs> we only have two chairs too. I don't know if I should like put it like all the way back there or have it more central. That chair, this one, is like kind of broken when you sit on it. It's like, I don't know where it's messed up, but it's really wobbly. Okay. What do we think of that? I feel like that's the best place for it. I mean, I don't want it to, yeah, I think that looks good. Now I have somewhere to eat again instead of over there at my desk, so that's exciting. I should get, um, what's it called? I should get some disinfecting wipes though. I was gonna say I feel like a hobo in this outfit, but I saw, whenever people say that, I'm just like, okay, so you're a hobo in like Uggs, Lululemon, North Face, whatever. And I literally thought that was so funny. Like, I think the tweet said something like, oh, I look like a hobo. And it's like, okay, Jessica, and your Uggs, Lululemon, like all that stuff. But that literally feels like me right now. I just feel like I scratched my nose right here and it's so red. <laughs> um, so tonight I have an induction ceremony, actually. I think I might have mentioned it in one of my vlogs, but basically it's an honor society for my major communications. Super exciting. So I don't know if I need to do my hair really, but I'm gonna put some makeup on and wash my face before that. Um, I have like, I think like 30 minutes until I have to go. I'm really excited though, because I think there were only 11 people inducted. I'm not sure I'm a people or a major. I do go to a smaller school, but 11's like pretty small. This is just water, by the way. <laughs> I just don't have a cup that's like that big and I just like drinking out of that. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna wash my face and cover up all of this. I use a new towel every time I wash my face. Just because, I don't know, I like get worried about germs and stuff. Or not even germs, but like dirt, I guess. I look so red right now, what the heck? Um, and I just use a CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. Just like, they're very generic. I don't know if you saw it like totally fall in the sink, so now it's like all wet. Um, but yeah, so I just use a gentle cleanser for that. And then I have my Pixie Tonic, and I think I'll just use Sephora, like, gave me a, oh, no, I think I'm gonna use my CeraVe lotion with that as well. To be honest, I'm not a huge fan of this. This is just the CeraVe, um, Ultra Light Moisturizing Lotion. There is SPF 30, which is kind of why I bought it. And I know that CeraVe is like a good brand. Not a huge fan, it kind of just feels like sunscreen. I have been really liking this little Kate Somerville Lotion, the Sephora, like I just got enough points, so they gave me this one. Really, I'm a fan. Also, I really like this guy, this little The brand is Murad, I think is how you say it. I actually haven't seen it before, but it's Nutrient Charged Water Gel and it, is, it feels so good. I actually really, really like that one. Um, so I guess I'll put some makeup on just to like cover some things on my face. Um, and then I need to change as well. I'm not gonna wear a sweatshirt. <laughs> I kind of think my hair looks fine. Okay, in the camera it really, Looks bumpier. I don't know, I think it looks fine. I did it this morning, my straightener's still sitting out because it's always too hot to like put away when I walk out the door. Yeah, looking up here doesn't look great, but overall it's good enough. A verdant life. Right, okay. you're leading. However, this is my, that line of thinking I have has to pause my very... podcast. Okay, this is my before no face makeup. I do have like mascara on from this morning, but it's my before. Basically, hi there. I'm Janet. Oh, if you guys watch The Good Place, or even if you don't, but like basically the podcast is about the show, and they're just like talking about, like, well, the first episode was the writer, I believe, and he was just kind of like talking about how 
um, what he, like, how he was able to make it and how he basically, the producers told him he could make whatever he wanted, which is really cool. And so he just kind of, like, came up with that idea. And, yeah, he's talking about, like, all the decisions that went into it. It was really interesting. If you guys watch the show, I highly recommend it. Or just starting to watch the show because I really, really like it. It's a good show. So I finished my makeup. As you saw, I basically just like throw, oh my gosh, whenever the light goes on, I basically just like throw stuff on my face and hope for the best. I think it looks pretty good though, like covered all my redness pretty much. So I need to wash my hands because I use them for my makeup on. And I think I need to go and like, I think I need to leave in like 15 minutes at the latest. But I'm basically ready. I just need to throw the dress on. I can't decide if I should wear my hair like half up or just leave it down. Okay, down. Half. I don't know. I don't know. I need my roommate here to help me out. I can't decide. I... I go either way, but, oh, also, this is the dress I'm wearing. I won't be wearing it with socks. I can't decide. I think I might, I can't decide anything right now. I think I might wear heels. I don't know. Okay, so I'm all ready. I decided to do a hair down. I put on my Laneige lip mask, I think is what it's called. I love it so much. It's like lip gloss. And I did go with heels, hopefully. I haven't like talked to anyone who's going, so hopefully I'm not the only one in heels, but we'll see. <laughs> so I just got back from my induction ceremony. It was a lot of fun. Um, and my roommate came and took like a bunch of pictures, which was really nice. Um, but yeah, it was fun. It was a good time. Um, my feet kind of hurt from my heels, but I'm glad I wore them. Um, and really exciting news. I think I said it earlier, but today I got a juicer for my grandpa's house because he never uses it and this thing is a machine like I was carrying this inside this that my purse and I literally had the juicer like I need to move it anyway but it was literally like against my head like trying to carry it um but I am so excited like I literally love juicing it makes me so happy and it makes me feel so healthy and good about myself so super super excited can't stress it enough. I don't know where to put it. I guess I'll probably just put it. My roommate who moved out used to have her coffee cure egg thing right here. So now that this is open, I think I'll put it here. I haven't used his juicer before. What do I think? I'm trying to see what side. Okay, so I think this is the discard side. So, like, yeah, so this is the front. So this thing goes here, maybe. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and then I have my um, little, what's it called? Blender. I, Whenever I'm vlogging, it'll be like something really little. Like I could be like, I need my charger. And I'm like, what is it called? <laughs> um, oh, is somebody calling me? Oh yeah, 